Hello everyone. So this question is about simple interest. So let's read the question. A sum of rupees eight hundred amounts to rupees nine twenty in three years at simple interest. So that is you have a sum of rupees eight hundred. That is you have the principal amount and that is eight hundred rupees. It is equal to eight hundred rupees. And the next one is you are given with the amount. Total amount amount is is equals to rupees nine twenty. And yes, of course, you have the time period given three years. Three years is the what t is equals to time period. Yes. Now, if the interest rate increases by three percent, what will be the amount? So first of all, you find the interest rate in this case. You are given with the principal and amount. So now find the what? Simple interest. Yes. And simple interest is equals to amount minus principal, and this is equals to nine twenty minus eight hundred. And you can find that this is one twenty rupees. One twenty rupees, right? Now you have the SI that is simple interest. Now you can find the rate of interest because you have the SI, you have the time period, you have the principal, so you can easily find about rate of interest in this case. So yes, it is. SI is equals to P into R into T upon the what hundred, and this is equals to P is eight hundred, and R is what R we have to find right, and T is three, and this upon this upon U R you have hundred. All right. So you can find because you have the SI and that is one twenty. So you can easily solve this equation for R. So yes, you have you have hundred eight zero eight hundred and eight three zero is twenty four. So here you will have R is equals to what? R is equals to one twenty divided by twenty four. And this is equals to yes, twenty four into five is one twenty. So this will result to five. And yes, of course, percent. So now you have the rate of interest. Now what is given in question in the second statement? If the interest increases by three percent, yes. So if the interest increases by three percent, that means the R two, if it becomes a what? R two is what? Now just carefully understand from now that R two is equals to five plus three because it increases by three percent, so it is eight percent. Yes, very good. Now you have what will be the amount? Yes, now you can find the amount. How? So it is equal to principal. Just see here that amount is equals to principal plus what? Interest, simple interest. So you can uh, find the what interest in this case. You have the principal eight hundred. So you find the interest, right? So let us find now interest, simple interest in the case when R two is eight percent. So yes, it is simple interest is equals to P into R. Into T and divide by hundred, and this is equals to P is eight hundred. P is eight hundred into R is eight percent into T is three, and of course you have upon hundred. And now you can see hundred, hundred eight zero is again eight hundred, and eight into eight is sixty four, and sixty four into three is what? See here sixty four into three 
is one ninety two rupees one ninety two. Yes, very good. Now you can find the what amount because now you have the principal. Now you have the principal, and you have the SI simple interest. So, so you can find the what amount with eight hundred plus one ninety two. One ninety two. This is equals to one zero nine two. And of course, don't forget to put rupees here. So yes, this is your final answer for this question. You have to find. You had to find the what? You had to find the amount when rate of interest is eight percent. So yes, you can find it easily. And I hope you have understood this question. Thank you.